What's up everyone and welcome to my guitar video. The video series where I take a guitar of mine, I talk a little bit about it, I do a setup of the guitar, and uh, then I play the guitar, you know, in the video. Today's guitar is a little bit special. It's a guitar I bought from Gary Holt of uh, Exodus and Slayer. It's basically a Dimebag tribute guitar that he had and he sold online. He sold it on Instagram and I bought it and uh, I'm gonna show it today. But it came hmm, with a problem. The problem was EMG pickups. Apparently the EMG pickups that came with the guitar, the Gary Holt set, uh, was, uh, had a split neck pickup and you can't solder that to uh, one volume and one toggle switch setup. That's impossible. So the guitar came, uh, you know, wired, but it didn't make sound. So I dug up a couple of uh, pickups of mine that I had in a drawer here. You know, I had a Dimebucker and I had another neck pickup, a Jazz neck. So uh, since I don't like soldering that much, I brought in my good friend Kent. So here it is. All right, so remember that uh, Gary Holt guitar that I bought or like the Dimebag Tribute Gary Holt guitar with the uh, with the EMG pickups? The problem was not the battery as I thought. The problem is that it's impossible to wire these two EMGs with just one volume pop because this is a splittable pickup right there. So uh, it's it wasn't possible. So it wasn't wired. It was, well, it was wired, but it didn't work. So what's going to happen right now is that Kent is here. Hello, Kent. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's here and he's gonna, uh, because I'm shit with, uh, with soldering. So uh, he's gonna switch out, he's gonna take out the pickups. Uh, I have a Dimebucker and a, what was it again? I think it was a Jazz, yes. Jazz neck pickup that he's gonna put in there. It's probably gonna, I think it's probably gonna look better. This is cool, but uh, it's very red. Kent's gonna take away all of that and uh, Hopefully we'll get a sound out of this guitar and uh, maybe I can show it in the video later. What are you doing right now, Kent? Uh, taking away the strings. Oh, how do you do this? With an, <laughs> with an hex screw, uh, what, what's it called? Insects key. Insects key. Insects key, key <laughs> as we call it in Swedish. Yeah. Insects. Did you unscrew these? This is something I usually forget ah, to yeah, unscrew. I, I did it. But you did it, okay, because he's a, he's a pro. <laughs> so uh, this is basically my guitar, but with uh, with Kent as a guest appearance. Usually I do all of this by myself, but since I completely hate soldering and I haven't done it in a while, I think it's better to just have someone do it. And uh, who are you currently taking for? You're taking for At The Gates and... Meshuggah. Meshuggah, exactly. Yeah. There's not really that much teching going on right now because it's Corona, but... Uh, uh, you're I hate still... it! Yes. I want to go on tour! Yeah, that's right. That's where it is. But you can still take guitars. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> Just have to pull harder. <laughs> the block is stuck. I think you need to bring in one of these. Just move the block. <laughs> is this annoying? No. <laughs> Here you can see the inside top. So you see, this is walnut, the body, and this is burl. Cool. What are we gonna do in here? Because we we don't need a battery anymore. You can guitar put, picks. You can put your in here. Oh, dash. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Shaky. Shaky finger syndrome. What is the best tip you can give to someone that that, will, that has to solder? Uh, read the fucking manual. <laughs> Get in the hole. Get in there. It's in the hole. Yeah. Looks better now, to be honest. 
sorry, Gary, but your pickup's a little bit too red for my taste. I was trying to kind of find a suitable guitar to put these in, but uh, I mean, if you try it out, nope. Maybe, maybe the white one, but this one has Fishman's in it. I don't want to s switch that. This one? No. Uh, maybe the black one, but I don't know. This this red is not really the nicest red I've seen. But yeah. Anyways. Maybe get a new white guitar. Yeah. I don't know. Look at that. The deed is done. Looks a lot better now. Damn right. Damn straight. Damn straight, man. Okay, with me here. Yeah. Oh, that's that's how you do it. Is that a good way to stretch strings? Why not? <laughs> I've never seen that before. As much as possible. Let's go to trust the old tuner. Oh. Close enough. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, man. <laughs> Always a pleasure. <laughs> and here's what it looks like right now. I already featured this guitar in a Sunday with Ola, but you know, I know a lot of people are not watching Sunday with Ola because they're boring. <laughs> Now, this is a custom build by a builder uh, that's called Tom Smith in the US of A. And he built guitars for uh, several guitar players, and uh, including Gary Holt. And uh, Gary Holt bought this from him and, you know, he customized it a little bit for Gary. And now it's here. And, I mean, take a look at this. You know, poplar top right here, but walnut body. Can you see that? And uh, holy shit, man, this little Cow Some Hell thing right there is a nice touch. That's the dime bag face right there. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. Now it has the dime bucker in it and a Seymour Duncan Jazz neck right there. Yeah, I thought this guitar was just really cool looking. And uh, obviously, you know, it being owned by Gary and it had a story to it, I was definitely interested in getting it. It has a Schaller Floyd. And uh, interesting here, you have a battery compartment for the EMG uh, pickups. But uh, since we don't uh, have a EMG pickups anymore, let's, uh, I can stash guitar picks in there. No, I'm not doing it. That was a joke by Kent, by the way. He's not doing it as well, just saying. Uh, interesting little detail, the parts, the Floyd block right here is protruding a little bit outside the body. So you can't really put uh, uh, cover over this thing right here because uh, it wouldn't fit. So that's a little special. Grover tuners, yeah man, I'm about to play this thing, okay? Is that okay? Let's go play this thing. I mean, this Seymour Duncan Dimebacker ex is extremely hot for being a pickup. <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. It's it's fun to play around with. So this neck right here, I would probably say that it's a little bit slimmer than a regular dime bag, you know, Washburn dime bag neck, right there, and uh, it's it's really comfortable. <laughs>
I have to be a little careful not to hit too hard. I'm hitting really hard, and sometimes it goes, uh, the strings go sharp. <laughs> That's one of the, the uh, drawbacks of, uh, you know, when you get to play an Evertune bridge a lot more um, You just tend to hit a little bit hard, so when you go back to a Floyd Rose, you know, you kind of need to hold back a little bit uh, That's one of the things I really like about the Evertune, that you can hit really hard Holds tuning well, I must say, after using the, the whammy bar. Oh, dropping my pick. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Oh, it's sort of in tune still. So there you go, that's the Tom Smith Dimebag Tribute guitar for you right there Yeah, it's a nice playing guitar, I like it I like it I mean, I'm gonna try and play this guitar a lot, but I think that it will be one of those, you know, guitars that I will put on my wall somewhere The wall in there, maybe You know, just, you know, just hanging there looking cool, I mean, look at this Looks so fucking cool right there So there it is, if you like this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel And I'll see you in the next video video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. What's up everyone?